Hey everybody. So unsurprisingly, we have an NFL wide receiver who's unhappy. I'm Paul Gross here from the Best Sports Blog and Bleach Report, and I want to chat about Percy Harvin today. Where have you uh, guys heard this before? Uh, Randy Moss might come to mind. Chad Ochocinco, Terrell Owens. Pretty much uh, every wide receiver in the history of the NFL has been unhappy with their team at some point, and now the mercurial Percy Harvin has joined them. Harvin seems to be unhappy in Minnesota and has requested a trade. He's ignoring the fact that he has one of the most team-friendly contracts in the league because he was a lower pick than would have been expected and because he is one of the most valuable receivers in the league. He's a 1,000-yard guy who can also run with the ball a little bit and Aaron Hernandez style, almost play like a tight end. He can catch the ball. He can. He's fast enough to run on the edge. He can pretty much do anything. He's a Pro Bowl level player. So for the Vikings, they're going to have to get a lot to retur in return for him, which is probably why they said no, no thanks to a trade. So it's interesting. Let's examine this for a second. You know, what do you do if you're the Vikings? Do you make him happy, even though he helps Adrian Peterson and he's one of the only good weapons on this offense, which is of course rebuilding after the end of what was a pretty good era where they were almost reached a Super Bowl with Brett Favre, but now the main members of that offensive line are gone, Bernard Berrien is gone, um, and most of the defense is aged, and the team really needs to rebuild. And Percy Harvin, who's very young, is one of the most important parts of that rebuilding effort. But he is a wide receiver, and he's not a truly foundational piece of the team, although they just got Matt Khalil, the offensive tackle, who is a foundational piece, so they really could build, and they have Christian Ponder at quarterback. They'd like to see Harvin grow with those guys. So what do you do with the Vikings, Do you, if you're the Vikings? Do you say no and just you know not allow Harvin to really get his way, or do you oblige him and trade him, or do you try to come to some sort of agreement? Of course, the Vikings could simply franchise him when his – contract is up, but it's always a recipe for unhappy players to continually franchise them. And there's definitely a correlation between unhappy players and poor production, particularly when they're fairly mercurial personalities like Harvin and they like to get their way. And if they did trade him, what would they get for him? That's really another interesting question. Harvin is definitely a near Pro Bowl wide receiver, so in that case you'd be looking at at least a first round pick in return, possibly a first and a second. However, he has been injury prone in the past, and this kind of behavior isn't going to endear him to a lot of teams. So we're really going to wonder if he's going to turn on them the moment he's, he's unhappy. So what could the Vikings get in return, and what would they be willing to trade him for? Well, obviously, if the Vikings could get two first-rounders, or even a first and a second and a later pick, they'd really have to strongly consider their options and possibly let go of him. They need to rebuild. They need different pieces on both sides of the ball. But if they get anything less than a first round pick, even if it's a couple seconds, then they probably have to pass to try to come to terms with Harvin and you know see if he'll at least play out his contract and continue playing well. Because after all, if he plays terribly, then who really loses out? Well, it's Percy Harvin. So we'll just have to stay tuned and see what happens. I'll go soon and uh, check out the article on this, which is in the description page. Thanks.